Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine. I'm also known as the Queen of Thrifting. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. I have tried Depop a little bit, but I don't seem to do very well on that. So I'm kind of trying to find different things when I go out thrifting to see if I can do better on um, Depop. So right now, those are my three main categories. I did try Facebook once, the Marketplace, but um, it's really good for bigger items that we sell around our house. But for the little items, I had a really bad experience with it, so I don't really sell on there. So those are my three main platforms. I am a part-time reseller. I do have a full-time job, and I also go to school part-time to full-time. I take about three classes. Um, I take about three classes a semester. So I went to, I'm gonna show you, um, I have tried this before, and I did it once or twice, and then I just got really caught up during the um, school year with, going to school and working. So it kind of f f um, fell by the wayside. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this again and see how well I do. Um, plus I didn't do really much thrifting last year in the fall because of school. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna do more thrifting this time and I don't fall by the wayside again because usually spring and summer are my thrifting times. I don't know why that happens, I guess, because of school and work and the kids and the kids going back to school. I'm a mom of six kids, so I'm really busy with taking them to all different types of schools and different, you know, elementary school, middle school, and high school. So I'm going to go ahead and try this again. I'm going to um, show you guys what I got at the Goodwill bins. Um, I went to, I went on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I went to three different bins, and I had three different experiences with those bins um, during that um, three-day period. They all were kind of unique in themselves, even though they're kind of within um, a 30-minute driving distance from each other. The, I have to say that the last bin that I went to on Sunday was the best bin experience. They have changed the way they do their bins. It used to be you bring out a bin and then everybody gloms onto that bin and goes through all the merchandise and then they move over and wait till the next bin goes out and gloms on and goes over that merchandise. Well, this one has changed it. And so if they have a row of bins, two um, per row, then you have to wait until all the bins are out there before you can um, actually go through the bins. So it kind of, people do jockey a little bit to kind of look in the bins when they're being pulled out to see what might have the best items to find that one. But I don't know why, but people were, it, you didn't have all those grabby hands and people seem to be more polite to each other with that experience. Um, I know one of the other bins that I went to on Friday was supposed to have the same experience but it doesn't sound like they had, they had at that time moved over to that one, so I don't know if they are. And then the one I went to on Saturday, I was only there for a couple hours. Um, that one, they don't, it doesn't look like they're moving to that type of thing, and then their one is a little bit more harder because um, you can only, the way they bring it out, they don't take, they take, so if you have two rows of bins touching each other, they only remove the one row bring that one row back in and then remove the other row and then bring that row back in. So it's not like you can um, line up on both sides. You can only line up usually on one side. So it does, um, if you're not, if there's too many people there, you would have a hard time getting into standing that, that line for that bin. So you have to wait around until they do the other side, which wasn't that bad because that's what I did. But again, um, I went down there um, to with my daughter and, um, we just kind of went, I was just there for a couple hours and then I left and we went to the bookstore and we went to Sprouts because she really loves Sprouts and we went to a couple other places to have a little bit of fun. So let me get right into my bins haul of what I got when I was at the bins. And just so you know, let me just show you, okay? First of all, I'm gonna have to put on my reading glasses to read some of this stuff. And the, the stuff that I'm gonna show you now, um, I believe most of it has been already listed and I did already sell three things from that bin haul. I just been spending my time listing them. So this one is a pair of, I think you sell Vasquez, Vasquez, Vascu, Vasque, I can't, is it V-A-S-Q-U-E, hiking boots. These are men's hiking boots. And if you look at them, they are in, except a little pebbles, I think down there, they are really, um, in excellent shape. They have the Vibrin and then the Gore-Tex, both of those. And I believe, let me go ahead and take a look here. 
This is when I gotta put on my reading glasses. These are a size 13 mints. So these are a size 13 mints. And when you go to the bins, at least at my bins, and trying to find shoes, um, it can be very difficult because people are just, the way they lay in line, they're, I mean, they're quick. Much quicker than I am, I have to tell you. But I, I saw these and I grabbed them. A lot of people at my bins, well, depending on what bins, um, one of the bins, they're looking for the designer shoe. They got a lot of women looking for the designer shoes and stuff. But a lot of the bins, people are just trying to grab the tennis shoes. So I don't really worry about trying to grab tennis shoes because it's easier for me to be able to grab other things, um, other type of shoes when they're grabbing the tennis shoes. But here are these. Great shape. And I believe I listed these because these are in excellent shape. And I did sell another one of these for, I think, um, about $60 that were not as good shape as these a couple months ago. So I listed these for about $70, hoping to get maybe $65 for those, $60, $65. And then I found, when I went there, when they first came, bins first came out, I found one pair of men's fry boots. Let's see if I can, right here. And I put it in my cart because I couldn't find the other one. And then when I was going through a bin, one of the clothes bins, a man came up and tapped me on the shoulder and he gave me the other boot, which is really nice of them. It does have wear on them, but you know, these are very good quality made boots. They have a lot of wear, not a lot of wear. They have a lot of life on them. So even though they have some wear on them, they do have a lot of more life on them. So hopefully about $40, $45 for these because they do have some wear on them. They are well-loved boots, but still they're made of good quality and they still have a lot of life left on them. And then I got, I found at the one on Sunday, I was, as I said, at that one, people really scrambling to get to the, t um, this one couple, they, he had a big black garbage bag and he was grabbing all the tennis shoes and th um, throwing them in his bag. Um, so he wasn't looking at a lot of the other things and I was standing next to him. So I got these Ugg boots with the ties in the back. And again, there might be a, a scuff mark or two on them. I mean, a wear mark, not really a scuff mark, but they are in really great condition. So with these, I'm hoping to get maybe about $30, $35 for these. And then I also found another pair of Ugg boots. And these are the, the tall boots, the tall Uggs, the chestnut color. And again, really good condition. So that one. And there is this one. And let me see about the boots. Sorry, I gotta put my glasses back on. Hopefully that doesn't annoy people. I'll take us way, way down here. So it's hard to tell, but these are so these are a size eight, which makes me think, oh, maybe my daughter might want them, but probably not. She's not into that. She's more into Doc Martens. And then these are size eight. So which makes me think that these came from the same people because they're both same eight and they were both right next to each other. So I mean, I might not be doing very well with them right now, but I'm hoping maybe during the winter time. And then I got at the second bin that I went on Saturday, I found these Madewell loafers. And if you look, they are very good condition. Madewell. And I think I went to the bin, I looked in the bins and we was just sitting in the bins. Nobody was interested in them and they don't look like they've been worn very much. And they're black loafers and don't. And they are eight and a half. So a little bit too big for me. Otherwise I would think about getting them for work. Cause I'm always on the lookout for um, unusual shoes for work. That's what I'm known as. But these are Oxford's. Like, more than I think you'd call them oxfords and loafers. So I got that and again, they were just sitting at the after they had gone through the bin 
which, you know, was fine for me. And then I also got these cute little Crocs. There is, I have to say, there is some wear right here on them. And on this one, also some wear. And these are a size 10. But I thought they were darling. Didn't pass them up. So I picked them up. I mean, $1.59 a pound at my thing. I mean, it can't be more than, it's not less than a pound, so it didn't cost that much money. And then I was going to show you these. And then here is a pair of Joseph Seibel. I hope I'm saying his name right. Joseph Seibel. And again, if you look at these, hardly ever worn. Great. So these are ballet flats. Joseph. So I got these. I think again, these were just sitting at at the one of the bins that people had already picked over, and they were just sitting there. So I got those also. Um, I try. I'm trying not to get as many shoes at the bins, just because I do have a lot of shoes still on my um, closet that I'm trying to sell. So I'm trying to cut down on shoes, even though for some reason when I go to the bins, I kind of like migrate to the bins. Okay. So on Friday, I have to tell a story. On Friday when I went into the bins, um, I think they had just pull, put bins out before they opened up their store. That had to be it because it couldn't have been from the night before. But I go to the bins and, you know, people are hurrying and they're grabbing shoes. And um, and I saw this one girl. I noticed that she had a pair, a one teak in her hand. Um, and I'm like, oh, where's that other teak? I was wondering where it was. Well, then I find one teak and I grab it too. And it turns out that we both had different teaks. She had a black one and I had a pink one. So it wasn't that we both had the same um, teaks. So she couldn't find the other one of hers. So she just um, gave me hers. So I had one pink one and one black one. And I was just going to hold on to it. And I kept looking when other rotations came out to see if anything, um, any teaks ended up in there. And I looked at kind of around the clothes, the shoe, um, the hard goods, anything to see if there was any takes. And I couldn't find them. And this, at this Goodwill, the thing, bin, the, they were not rotating that much. So there was a lot of times after you went through the bins, you were just sitting there. So I was really getting tired of just sitting there without the rotation. So what I did was, um, I was getting ready to leave and then I saw, I look over where I'm standing against this wall and this guy pulls out three teaks and he um, gives them to another girl. And he's, I guess he had found the onesies and he too was waiting for it to find the pairs, but he was getting ready to leave and he didn't find the pairs, So he gave it to some girl that he knew and she had them in her cart and she was looking at them and then she put them in her cart and I was thinking, okay, I'll just wait around for maybe 30 minutes to see what happens. And if she, you know, if she still holds on to them, I'll go to her and see if we can, you know, she takes a pair, I'll take a pair, and we could be done with it. Well, she ended up within like a couple minutes of getting the those, she ends up leaving and she left somebody else in charge of her um, cart. And then with, and I, within about, and then I had to go do something, got a phone call to come back and I was going to offer them to her because I wanted to leave because I didn't want to stick around any longer. But then I noticed she picks them up and then she throws them in a clothes bin. I mean, I just so happened. I mean, I, they were meant to be mine, I think, because, you know, I I was going to put them back before. And then I saw this guy pull them out and give this other girl. And then after I made the phone call, I was going to come back and offers to split with her and just so happens she could have didn't while I was making the phone call and I would never have gotten them. It just so happens I see her taking the three of them out and throwing them back into a clothes bin. So I just nonchalantly go up there, grab the three and bring them back to my, um, my cart. So I think one was like a cranberry color. I did take it home. Hopefully maybe someday there'll be just one cranberry teak laying around somewhere. So I did take that one home. Um, so I only have one of that one, but I have these the other two. 
and I'll show you those. And, and those are size eight. So it's like, oh my gosh, that's my size. So, you know, do I want them for myself or not? Because at work, I'm on my feet a lot, running around, dealing with my clients. So um, I can, I wear high heels most of the time, but it would be nice to have flats, but who, but I will see. Let me just show you. So here's the pink one. Now there is some discoloration on the insole, but I think that happens a lot. And there is a little bit scuffing around some of the edges on here. But otherwise they are in really great shape. No holes, nothing like that. And I, looking at other people that wore teaks, it does look like if the teaks are worn for a while, they somehow get this discolor, the discoloration. But nothing bad. So that's that one. This, and then these are size eight. That one. And again, maybe some over there, but I did take some leather polish and polish them up. But these are the pink ones. And then I also have, I have a black pair. Here's only one. I was getting all my stuff together and I couldn't find the other one. So it's upstairs with my stuff in my, again, some discoloration, maybe, maybe somewhere is a little wear spots, but for the most part, they're in really great shape. And again, these are a size eight. I'm hoping maybe I can get like 65 to $70 for those, but they're in a really great shape. So that was the shoes that I got for my, um, those, those are the shoes. Again, as I was saying, I'm trying to stay away from shoes because I have a huge amount of shoes. Right now I'm trying to figure out, without trying to buy any more bins, um, where can I put all my shoes? I'm gonna have to figure that out, but um, that's what I got. So I believe most of those are listed. Almost everything there is listed. I don't think I listed the boot. I did list the fry boots and the Vasquez boots, but I don't think I listed the Ugg boots yet. And I did not list Joseph yet, but the rest have been listed. So let me go ahead and get into the clothes. So with the clothes, I'm trying to take stock in things that I do sell and I don't sell to kind of, when I go to the bins, to be a little bit more picky with what I'm getting. So um, I do think I made some good choices with some of the things and I do have to say that I did sell three things from my bin haul already. I will um, mention those toward the end and then hopefully get a screen grab to show you how much I sold them for. But here we go. Let me show you the clothes that I got. So I got these and the reason why I got these is because they're new with tag. But these are women's softball Nike pants. And again, I probably wouldn't have got them if they weren't new with tags, but since they were new with tags, I got them. And I, you know what, probably, I think I listed them for like 20 bucks or $25. And these are a size extra large. Somebody looking for new pants, want to save some money. When they come look on eBay or Poshmark, they can get those. So that's what I got on those. And again, I got those because they were new with tags. And then I found at Ben, I found these new with, and again, I know different, I, different styles of Made Well sell and some don't. So I've kind of tried to stop, stay away from some of the Made Well uh, when I go thrifting because I do think I have a couple of Made Well skinny jeans that are still sitting in my closet. So I um, try to be a little bit more selective on what I get, but these, as you can see, these were new with tags, so I went ahead and got these too. And these are the perfect vintage straight jeans. If you can see those. And they are a size. So, 32. And I think the other Mabel I had are a size zero or a size two. So these are a size 32, they're new with tags. As you can see, here is the tag. 
And these were selling for $128. Here is the bottom of them. And again, I don't, the funny thing about this is I believe I found these in a bin that had already been looked over, which is interesting. But I listed these for $100, since they're new with tags, and they go for $128. Knowing I pay people thinking I hope they can get around $80, $85 possibly for those. And then here, then again, I probably wouldn't have bought this brand, but again, it was new with tags, so if it's a decent brand and it's new with tags, I mean, even to be quite honest with you, I before picked up Forever 21 with new with tags. I actually found a Forever 21 new with tags, um, these um, pants, but I gave those to my daughter because those are the kind of style that she likes. So this is Nautica. This is a men's and it is a size medium. Here again, it was new with tags. It's a V-neck sweater. See that? It's a yellow, kind of canary yellow, I guess. But it was, it's really soft and it's really, I think would be great for the summer, not summertime, the winter time. And it, it's new with tags, so I went ahead and picked that one up too. I had quite a, a couple things new with tags. Then I got these uh, Banana Republic pants. And these are a size 12, size 12. And I just, these are a black and white plaid kind of ankle pants. I just really, really like the style of these. But they, um, I really like the style, so that's why I picked these up. I thought these might do well. They have back pockets on here, and then they also have the front slip pockets. So hopefully I can get about $25 for these. 20, 25, 25 hopefully. Again, they, I think they're a cute style, in my opinion. I would definitely wear them, but they are not my style, style, size. If they were my size, I probably would have kept them for myself. And then here is another one that was new with tags. So I went and got this one. I thought about giving it to my daughter. And I still might because this is something that she might like. But I'm not 100%. So, But this is a champion. Champion small. And again, new with tags. I don't know what to read. But this is a kind of a cropped rugby shirt. It's long sleeves. You can see that. <laughs> I'm hiding behind my clothes. But it's, it's a crop shirt. I'm kind of like croppy and it's really cute. I thought that would, um, my daughter still, if she wants it, she can have it. But I thought that was really cute. That would be Good for going back to school wearing at school time so I got that and again that was new with tags and then I found and I forgot the name of these there was a name up for them but these are North Face and this is I believe this might be a smaller size yes I try, I'm trying to stay away from the smaller sizes but I thought this was kind of this was cute this is North Face size 2 I'd have to look it up if I can remember the name of this one, but they have drawstrings right here, and it's a tan striped, wider um, at the bottom, the leg opening. But again, if I think, if I find it, I can, the, the name of it. So I thought maybe I could get um, I think 30, $35 for these. North Face doesn't always do too well, so it might be more like $25, but I will try. And then I got this, I think I got this Bowden, and it is US size 12. If you can see that, 
US size 12. It is a red and um, white polka dot top. And it has this really cute back, the split in the back, which is really, really cute. So I was, I'm hoping, and it's in really great shape and it's short sleeve. I'm, this would look really cute with a pair of white pants. Um, but I'm hoping for this one to get about $25 for this. And then, what else do I have? This is, again, this is a smaller size, but this was so cute. This is a White House Black Market. It is size 2, so it is a smaller size, so it might take a while. But it is this jacket, and it, it's a Bands. They consider it a band coated, denim coated, black band jacket. Look at the detailing. I really, really thought that was really neat. And then this is the sleeve area. And I guess you can say military band, but more like a band jacket. And then they have a button right there. But again, yes, this was really cute, size two. I don't fit in a size two anymore. I really wish I did. If so, I would keep it for myself. But I am, um, again, I'm hoping to get maybe $60 for this because it is really, it's in great shape and I think it's a darling. And then what else do I get? I'm not sure about this one because I, um, this is trim shaper because I think we're getting to the end of um, summer maybe. I mean here in California, it's not the end because we're in our hundreds in the 90s, but this is a trim shaper one piece um, bathing suit and it is a size 14. And it has the padding over in this area and then the crotch area. It does have an extra, oops. extra layer right here for protection but it's in really really great shape so that's why I pick it up I try not to pick up um, I will pick up tops for swimsuits or one piece as long as it's in great shape um, I mean it depends and then I also got this other one this is J crew factory but it was really really cute it has the scalped look right there and then also has that on around here which I thought it was a darling and J crew and but this is the J crew factory and you can tell the factory that's a factory by the dots at the bottom and this one is a size large so it comes in small medium and large but I thought this was really really cute and it was in great shape again I try to I look at the I mean, it looks like, honestly, it looks like it's never been worn before. It's like somebody bought it, just decided, got it, and never wore it. But it's in great shape, and hopefully I can get maybe $25 for this one. For that. So I, that was only swimsuits. The problem is I didn't find a lot of summer stuff. So I'm kind of looking to go to the winter stuff. And then again, here's another item. I've never really heard of this person. There's some listed for it, um, but it's called... Cory America and it is a size small and here is the tag for Cory America and then it looks like it was being sold in some type of boutique because I have this one too and it has if you look at it has the knot that like knot in the front of it right there which is really really cute I really like that I'm trying to see if I can make you guys see how that has that knot in the front I really really like and it has this choker portion right here too so I thought that was really cute so again I picked this one up it is lightweight, 
$1.59, maybe $25 for it, $20, $25 for it. We'll see. There are some Cory America on the website, but I never really heard of them. Uh, maybe they're more of a boutique type of a designer, so I went ahead and picked those up. And then I got this, and this is a collaboration between uh, Pink and Fifth and Ocean. I'm not sure. Pink, fifth, and ocean. It is a small, small. And this is a hoodie. And if you see on there, this is the University of Kentucky. So it has this University of Kentucky with their mascot on there. And if you look at the back, hopefully you can see it. It says. Big Blue Nation. I'm not sure how well this is going to do, but I figured, you know, when kids start going back to school and they want to buy something for wherever they go to school, maybe that will um, pick up for that one. So I'm thinking about $25 for this one. Didn't weigh very much, so it can't, didn't cost me very much. And here is a pair of shorts I got. And, and it's funny. It's funny because my husband loves shopping at REI. Him and his brothers and sisters, they're like REI fanatics. And he's a member and he gets points or he gets some kind of rebate check. So he always buys stuff with his rebate checks. Um, you know, they just love buying things at REI. That's one of their favorite places. And if you've ever been into an REI, you notice that the, the stuff can be rather expensive. But the resale value is not very good, which is funny because... I, I think you maybe the people that buy at REI don't want to buy online because they can buy at REI and um, get points so they can get their rebates or something. I don't know. But I did pick these up. As you see, REI, size 14. They are a pair of hiking shorts. See how they do? They have the um, pockets in the front. One's two zip pockets in the front. And then one zip pocket on the side so you can hold some stuff if you're going hiking belt loops so size um, green so i'm gonna pick this up i think they may be thinking maybe 20 bucks see how it goes i don't really know um maybe sit for a little while may eventually sell i'm not sure i haven't sold them yet i think i listed no i have not listed that one yet uh, i remember that i have not so I try to stay away from pink unless it's unusual because I do have some pink things, quite a bit of pink things that I've picked up at the bins that are still selling in my closet. Um, but then sometimes I pe um, pick up some unusual stuff at pink and it goes right away. It used to be like the um, night shirt seemed to go quickly. I do have a button up plaid night shirt that's I think is still sitting in my closet, but some of them eventually do sell. Um, so I do, but some of the, if you get, if I'm going to get, get the leggings, I'm going to get the ones that are more unusual because those will sell quicker. Otherwise, some of them will just sit in my closet. But I, I'm not really sure how well this one's going to do, but I picked it up. I'm not really sure why, but I didn't. Figured, you know what, I could always keep it if it doesn't sell. But this is a pink, it's a medium, and it's like a tie-dye shirt. So, um, sweatshirt, the front, just as has nothing on it just tie oh except for the pink right there it's kind of like tie-dye kind of reminds me of I don't know and then on the back it says love pink pink so that's embroidered on the back I picked this one up I don't maybe $15 for this one possibly 20 I don't know we'll see it might not even sell and I just might go ahead and keep it myself. I can wear it on Fridays when we have dress down days at work. We'll see. And then I picked this up and again, J. Jill. I love J. Jill, but J. Jill is something I try to stay away from unless it's a really good, whether it's unique because I don't really have a hard time selling J. Jill, but I figured uh, what the heck? I don't know. Something I like this one. But this is the white shirt collection of J. Jill and it's size a large. It is a shirt. I mean, usually you might think, well, why, why is she getting that? It's just a basic shirt. 
because it has this at the bottom. So I thought that was adorable at the bottom. And just button cuffs. So. So I thought the bottom was cute. That's why I picked it up. And I thought I would see how it goes. I would try to list it and see if I can sell it for maybe $20, $25. We'll see. If not, I have a friend that likes J. Jill, so I'll just give that to her. Um, generally, she doesn't try to wear much white, but she might. So who knows? And then I found um, this sweatshirt. I thought, if you can see these kind of the shoulders, I thought that was cute. Kind of took it away from being just a basic sweater and this is um rebecca minkoff size medium i think i found this one on sunday at the sunday one when i went to the bin on sunday and again this is just another case of the item just sitting there when i went to that bin nobody taking it so i picked it up because i know um she's a designer not, I did have a purse of hers. It took me a while to sell. It was like a clear, translucent purse. And it did take a little while to sell. But I think it sold for like about $65. And um, I believe I looked online. And this was selling for $80 or so dollars online. So I am going to try to sell this for about $45, $50. We'll see what how that goes. Because it's just, it's just a sweatshirt. But that... The shoulders make it look unique, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I also might be again another thing, another brand that I sell. Depending, sometimes it takes a long time to sell. Sometimes I sell things relatively quickly. I think it depends on um, the item, how well it sells or not. But another one that used to sell um, quicker and it seems to slow down a little bit is um, Torrid. This is a toward piece. It's actually a dress size two. I don't know. It's like a gauze dress. If you can see right here, I thought it was really, really cute. It's kind of like a mini type of dress. And then I don't know if you can see this right here. And then detailing in the front right here and here is I really really liked this sleeve so I'm really hoping I, I looked at other comps on this one and I'm thinking about 40 45 dollars for this it's really cute it is in black so I'm not It'll be great for the winter time, maybe go into formal place. So that's we'll see how that one goes. Again, sometimes cord towards sells really quickly for me. Sometimes it does take a little while to sell for me. So we'll see how that one goes. And then I found, I know there were several years ago people were writing about how um, good mod mod cloth was, and. Um, I think even when I found a swimsuit, a mod cloth swimsuit, people were still raving about it. It did take a while for me to um, sell that swimsuit, but I ended up selling that swimsuit, I think, for about $35. So I went ahead and, but usually I don't really see mod cloth. I think that was in a bin somewhere else, not one of these bins. But I did find this size 12 mod cloth and um, skirt. And the reason why I picked it up, I just thought it was cute with the little different color polka dots on it. And it has the little belt, the buttons right here. And this is a size 12. It does, I did measure it because it does seem a, maybe their sizing is, um, I have to really look at that. Is it cloth here or is it in the UK? Let me go back. But I did um, list it, I measured this flat so people get an idea of what the measurements are but i thought this was really cute so i went ahead and picked this one up and maybe about 20 25 dollars for it possibly maybe less depending on you know how well it does so my pile is kind of falling down on me 
And then I have one more thing to show you guys. And again, I picked this one up again, as I keep saying, because it is, it had the tags. But this is, and it does, it had the tags. And so one thing again, I think that will make it harder to sell or take longer to sell, it is a petite, but this is Tahari. Tahari, and I think this one comes in, oh yes, and it's extra large. And it is Tahari seam front pull-on, seam front pull-on pants. Look at it. It has that houndstooth pattern on here, elastic waist. And so it would be a great, great work piece. And the good thing about these, what I like about um, these pants, because I have a couple pants like that are pull-on pants, is that when you're at work and you're running around and you're getting up, sitting down, getting up, it's nice kind of just to have a pair of pull-on pants instead of having to deal with, and it's, um, I don't know, the buttons. It could be a, a little bit more comfortable at times. But I did pick these up because they have the tags on them. And again, they were new with tags. I think they have a price of $89 for that. I don't know if you guys can see that. $89. So maybe I can get about $50, $45, $50 for these. We'll see. But I did pick these up because they were new with tags. So that is about all that I have for this bin. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get this posted um, Monday or Tuesday. And then I will, in a couple weeks, have another maybe in a week, have another bin haul. Thank you for coming. Hopefully you come back and see me um, for my other hauls, my bin hauls. Um, I don't get out during the week much to get a lot of stuff during the week, so it is harder to show you what I get at the Goodwill store, but I do go to the Goodwill store, um, usually on Thursdays, because we don't really have discounts like people do, like 50% off discounts or the color of the week discounts. We used to do that and they got rid of that. The only thing we really do have is we have a student discount and a senior discount. It used to be, I think, the senior discount was on Tuesdays and the student discount was on Thursdays, but now it is. It sounds like I was listening, I was at the, uh, last Thursday I was at the Goodwill and it was saying that both discounts are on Thursdays. So I'm not old enough to be a senior, but I am going to school, so I do get the um, student discount on Thursdays. So if I go to the Goodwill store, I usually go on Thursdays because that's when I get my discount. So we'll see if I can, I usually don't get very much, just get a couple of things, so it's not enough to do a good haul, but maybe I will get some stuff and save it up and then do a haul. But um, most of the stuff I get is um, clothes and shoes. I am trying to branch out to the hard goods, but I'm trying to be cautious about it because there is shipping involved and I wanna make sure what I get is I don't waste my money, so. Maybe I'll have one of those hauls soon too. So thank you. Come back again. Have a great day. Bye.